Hey guys, it's Kavetta. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go over five inexpensive places to eat here in Playa del Carmen. I did a video before with five super inexpensive, super cheap eateries. Definitely check that out if you're trying to stay on a budget. But to be honest, eating out here is pretty much always on a budget. You will find pricey places, but you know, those are if you're doing like a special occasion or something and there are not that many crazy pricey places. Crazy pricey places. <laughs> so um, this set that I'm going to go over, we love e everything that I've talked about so far in this, uh, you know, where to eat series. We eat here at least a couple of times. Food has been consistent. Service has been great. And it's still all less expensive than eating back in the U.S., so that's the, you know, when I say inexpensive, even if I think it's like mid-range to what you can find here in Playa, it's still super inexpensive compared to what you'd find back home. So, um, yeah, come on over. Let's see what these places are. If you're coming to visit, if you're coming to stay here for a while and you want, you know, good hearty food and you, you don't want to break the bank, check these places out. Okay, so the first place I'm going to go over is Sushi Roll. If you are a sushi lover, like us, we, we love our sushi. Oh my goodness, Sushi Roll is such, it is a really good deal. That you can get sushi for $2.50. Because you can get a 99 peso sushi on a sushi night. And it's two for one, so it works out to be two dollars fifty cents for the the ten rolls or eight, depending on what you're getting. But we're always fancy dancy, <laughs> so we always get like you know the the chef special or whatever. And those are still not even that expensive. They're one forty six, one hundred forty six pesos, which works out to what like seven dollars. And then of course it's two for one. So let me go over the deal why it's this. You know, it's one of our favorite places to go. We've been there at least four times now. Monday to Wednesday, they have um, two-for-one sushi. So if you go on a Monday, a Tuesday, a Wednesday, two-for-one sushi on all their rolls and all their sashimi. And I forgot what else is included, but if you're going there for sushi, everything is two-for-one. And that, like I said, you can get sushi starting at right around 98, 99 pesos. Um, so that makes it you, two sushi rolls for 100 pesos, you know, 99, 100 pesos. So 50 pesos. That is awesome. And that's just the regular, maybe California roll, um, Philadelphia roll type things. But what we've been getting, we've gotten, um, like I said, a couple of the chef specials. That's like 140 pesos, 150 pesos. So it still works out to be about $3.50 US per roll when you do the two for one and we get like six because <laughs> we love to eat. I mean, by now, you know, we love to eat. If you if you're on Instagram or I mean, I've talked about it here before, like we'll eat and we we're not ashamed to, <laughs> to say we love to eat. I mean, food is good. So this is one of our favorite spots and it's right on fifth so if you're staying on fifth if you're just visiting it's super easy to get to um so you don't have to go to go too far or walk too far take a taxi or anything so it's super convenient and it's three whole days of two for one sushis so if you miss monday you miss tuesday you got wednesday or just go monday tuesday wednesday because we've done that before <laughs> we're just like yep sushi tonight sushi tonight and I think it's from like, what, 7 o'clock to close or, you know, 11, 12, something like that. But that's a really good deal. And it is really fresh, really good. The ambiance is nice. I like how everything is set up. I've, you know, all the waiters, everybody there, they've been really nice and helpful. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. And I, as I said, we've been there four or five times and everything has been awesome. So definitely check out Sushi Roll if you're coming down here. Okay, so the next place, I've been here more than once also, uh, three or four times. Okay, like I said in the beginning, 
everything that I'm talking everywhere that I'm talking about all the restaurants we've been um to these a couple times so that's why I feel like I can tell you guys go and try the food because it is good okay so tiny tiki hut oh the food is so good you see my pictures on instagram so good like everything is inexpensive you can eat a meal like a full plate of food full your belly and everything for 100 pesos which is like five dollars i'm talking like wings uh ramen bowls sandwich like they have a ton of different items it's really good what we love and what we went for um, a couple times on fridays they have 60 peso um ramen bowls we don't eat pork you've probably seen our posts we don't eat pork we don't eat shellfish we do eat you know regular fish that has scales that's an, for another story but um so certain things we're not gonna eat so the bowls that are included at the um tiny tiki hut i think it's vegetarian chicken and the pork the beef is not included because that's a little bit more pricey than the other bowls but um yeah the other three you can get so we all did the chicken bowls it's good ramen it was good ramen it was so good and that is only three dollars three us dollars for a big old bowl we were full and that is on fridays but if you want to go any other day they have specials on different days I, I haven't checked them out yet but follow them on instagram follow them on facebook they do post you know the specials and the deals that they have and even without special and deals we've been going there without them everything is still super inexpensive and i haven't tried anything that i really do not like i think the um curry roll the kids didn't care for that one and that's the only thing that we tried that they didn't like but i kind of like it it wasn't bad they said it was too coconutty but um so if you don't like coconutty stuff just avoid that one <laughs> but everything else has been good and the waiters i haven't had any issues again with this place everything seems fresh everything came out you know in a decent time and that's the next thing you have to know about mexico everything is it's kind of like jamaica i want to say just on their own pace like you learn that tomorrow manana i see you manana it does not mean tomorrow <laughs> if the if the guy that's you know fixing your car or fixing the sink says i'm coming manana no no he's probably not gonna show up tomorrow probably should like three days down so it's like it's not as fast as you know back in the states it's a little bit more slow slow pace they go at their thing but yeah i haven't had any issues so tiny tiki hut put it on your list check it out choo choo cafe and i did a whole video on choo choo cafe by itself but i had to include it in this one because they are inexpensive they are really good always packed we've been there three times always packed there is always a line and i guess it depends on when you go but we've been there three different times and we've always stood in a line but because <laughs> nobody wants to leave once they sit down grab their computer everybody just chilling eating everything is so good everything is fresh you're all in coconut water as you can see the coconuts in the big old fr fridge just sitting there the whole coconuts you can see the fresh fruits that they have in the fridge sitting there waiting to make your smoothies you can see you know you can see your stuff that's gonna go in your food and you know it's fresh you know it's good i don't know it's like it's good i haven't had anything there that's not good i know i've said that twice already right but it's good the first time i went i did um and the video that I did before, I had the Salmon Benedict. Oh, just, just look, just look. Let me tell you that, that thing was so, that, that thing was good. It was delicious. Their drinks, their smoothies. I always get the um, Speedy Gonzalez. It has uh, coffee, dates. Is it almond milk or just regular milk? It's blended up in goodness. So you want a little coffee, a little bit of sweet, and your speedy Gonzalez. You're good for the day. Really good. 
it's you know and that's the thing i really love with mexico everything is fresh everything is made right there i haven't been anywhere that i'm seeing you know fake stuff or processed things like i haven't been to any and i've been to a ton of restaurants and i haven't seen anything processed and faked and you know everything that i've seen it's fresh and just ready to go I've seen them literally making the sauce for the mole and the sauce for the, you know, the whatever kind of chicken, all kind of sauce, salsa. They're just sitting there making it in front of you with the tomatoes, the the, the um, peppers, everything. And they, they blend it right there because a lot of the, the restaurants you can see back through the kitchen and all that. So you can see the things that are being made. They're not pre-made sitting there for days or in the fridge or out of a can or a jar they're literally blending everything right in front of you so good <laughs> okay so the last two places because we're at 35 these kind of go i'm going to be comparing them kind of because my kids i don't know okay so the last two places don sirloin and el fagan tacos cheap tacos if you want that in Playa del Carmen, definitely check out Don Sirloin and I'm not even going to say or. You, you got to check both so you can tell me. I love El Fagan. Like every, and that's one of the best or most reviewed taco spots in Mexico, in Playa. And there are a couple that you can find. Um, and if you're staying on 5th in the tourist section, you can you can get to them easily. That El, El Fagan is one of the, you know, the biggest and most reviewed. They have some really good tacos. The prices are really good. I think we did four quesadillas at one time for, I think it was like 90 something pesos. So $5 for four quesadillas. And the tacos are like three for under 100 pesos. So three tacos for un under $5. Really, really good. Um, and then Don Sirloin, they have their tacos right around 18 to 25. It depends on which one you're getting and what's in there. But my kids, they prefer Don Sirloin over El Fagan. And when I was talking to one of my friends, she's like, what? El Fagan is the place. Their tacos are amazing. And my kids are like, Meh. I didn't like the beef. The tortillas overpower. I'm like, when did y'all become food critics? <laughs> But they swear by Don Sirloin. They swear Don Sirloin is way better than El Fagan. So you guys got to tell me if you've been here, you've tried them, but which one do you prefer? And if you're not here yet, but you're checking out places to go, tell me which one you prefer, Don Sirloin or El Fagan. But either way you go, super delicious food. Pastor tacos, just, I, I think that's their favorite. They love the beef pastor beef pastor that's the one that spins around right <laughs> they love that thing oh my goodness and it just comes out fresh and good and hot and oh then you get a ton of toppings that you can put on there so you know you can choose whatever you want um the drinks are always good i mean you're in mexico order a margarita you know get, get some tequila shot of tequila something it's good so Don Sirloin and El Fagan, two taco places. They do have other things, but we just always stick with taco. I think I did, yeah, taco quesadillas and nachos. And I had like a loaded nacho at once. Quite a few things piled up on there. I don't even know what it was, but I was digging into that thing. And then, of course, they have the regular drinks, Jamaica, horchata, um, tamarindo, and then, of course, alcohol. So anywhere, most places you go in Mexico, like I just remembered those three drinks, you're always going to find those on the menu. You always see horchata, always Jamaica, always tamarindo. Because those are just the drinks that, you know, they serve. That's the Mexican thing. And it's funny because Jamaica, it's pretty much like um, saril, what we call in Jamaica. We have that for Christmas. But now people drink it, you know, whatever. But growing up, it was a Christmas drink. So whenever it's Christmas, because sorry, you plan it and then you reap it during the, the holiday season and you put it down and it does its thing. And whew, where are my Jamaicans at? So 
Sorry, I'll if we're a little wrong. Maybe it's something. <laughs> and then um, the tamarindo, that's tamarind. We call it in, it, you know, tamarind in Jamaica. And we use that. We eat it just the same. It's a, a fruit. Or we used to use it to make drinks. So those these things are things that I know from back home. So to see here and stuff, it's like, oh, it tastes a little bit different. They make it a little bit, you know, different, but it is the same thing. So definitely you got to try those drinks if you've never had them before. You know, do the tequila. I'm going to talk to you about the tequila one in another video. That's like a whole video by itself. <laughs> All right, you guys, um, that's it for today. Be sure to watch the previous video that I had five super inexpensive places to eat. Then definitely check the, the, this one out. Um, let me know if you've tried any of these places, if you plan on coming down and then planning to try any. Of course, Google will just take you everywhere. And a lot of these places I talked about, they're in walking distance or at least, you know, a quick taxi ride if you don't want to walk to get to them. So, um, yeah, let me know. And as usual, question comments, go ahead and leave them below. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that like button. Hit the bell so you never miss a notification. And never miss any of the videos that we post. And I will see you in the next video. Talk to you later. Bye.